Have you been wanting to take advantage of the low interest rates and buy a house but don't know how? Well, today we're going to give you some options, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, Brittany with Brittany Hannon Real Estate, and today we're talking about FHA loans. Every year, HUD changes the loan limits for the FHA loan. This year, because everything has gone up, we're seeing that the FHA loans have also increased. FHA loans could be a good option for you to start your real estate journey. If you have a low credit score or not the highest down payment, this is a way that you can get started on your journey. And then along the way, you can refinance and have a different type of loan and switch to a conventional because we're going to talk today about the pros and cons. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and let's jump in. First time home buyers can usually take advantage of an FHA loan. It's typically about three and a half percent down, and you're able to have a little bit lower of a credit score. HUD has just released its new FHA loan limits for 2021. And what this means is that there is a ceiling to what an FHA loan is willing to loan. The loan limits increase because housing prices have increased. And so the loan limits where I am in Southern California in Ventura County, have now been raised to 739,000 for a single family home. In LA County, they've increased to 822,000 for a single family home. They do have higher limits based on if you're purchasing a duplex, triplex, or fourplex, because you can get an FHA loan all the way up to a fourplex, as long as it's your primary residence. So if you are gonna be living there, you can use an FHA loan. You just can't use it if you're using it strictly as an investment property. So let's talk about pros and cons for an FHA loan. They're not for everybody, but here are some of the positives. FHA loans require a lower down payment of about 3.5% as long as you have a credit score over 580. Now, if you have a credit score of lower than 580, then you still can qualify for an FHA loan. You're just going to have to pay 10%. So you have to pay a little bit more upfront, but you still can qualify for a loan even if you have a low credit score. Another pro is that it's a low cost investment opportunity. So if you want a house hack where you live in one and rent out the rest, you can do that up to four units. If you're looking to purchase an investment property where you're not living in it at all, you really have to put 20 to 25% down. And that is significantly higher than three and a half percent, obviously. I'm gonna do another video about house hacking because I think it's a great thing to do to get started in your real estate journey. If you need help paying the bills, have somebody else pay them for you. We're gonna talk more about that in another video. I think it's a great thing to do and I think it's a wise investment, especially for younger people and for people who live in high priced areas like LA County, Ventura County, Southern California in general. Okay, let's talk about the cons of an FHA loan. The first one is that you will be paying PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. Basically, this is insurance for the bank so that if you go in foreclosure, they're not gonna lose it all. You are paying every month for them to have this. Once you get to an 80-20 loan to value, then that PMI goes away. But actually for an FHA loan, it doesn't ever go away. So you need to refinance into a conventional loan and then that can go away. But you would typically be refinancing anyway. Most people don't stick with the same loan they got when they first bought their house throughout the lifetime of having their house. The next con is that they are a little more restrictive in the type of house that you can have. They have livable standards, so you can't go and buy a fixer-upper. You can't go and buy something where the floors are falling out from under you or it doesn't have a lock on the door. Most things are easy fixes, but they're not going to approve the loan until you do get those things fixed. So that would be on the seller, and a lot of times the seller might not be wanting to do that. They might just be trying to get out. So this is not the opportunity for you to fix and flip a house. Maybe that will come later in your real estate journey, but for now you're just wanting to get into something that is move and ready. It doesn't need to be top of the line, turnkey, beautiful updated. It just needs to be livable, but you do have to meet those standards with an FHA loan. The next thing is that condo complexes have to be approved for FHA loans, meaning they have to apply, they have to go through a process, and some complexes just aren't willing to do that. So there are a lot of complexes that don't qualify for FHA. If you want to know what those are, there are lists that you can find if you just do a quick Google search, or you can contact me and I can help you with that. FHA loans typically come with higher interest and higher fees. So even though we're in the market of really low rates, you're still going to get a lower rate than you probably would have last year, but you're not going to get the lowest rates that you possibly can. 
those rates come on conventional mortgages. And so you're not getting a conventional mortgage, you're getting an FHA loan, which is great. You're just gonna have to know that you don't quite have the lowest interest rate that you can have. But I think that's okay because if you're just taking your first steps into real estate, you gotta give a little. And so if this is something that you need to give, that's okay because again, you can refinance in the future. This is paying now so that you can get into the real estate game, start getting that appreciation, stop giving your money to a landlord and getting him rich, start getting yourself rich. And with that, the fees are generally a little bit higher too. So closing fees, the loan origination fees, all of those are a little bit higher with the FHA loan. So you're looking at paying a little bit more out of pocket for an FHA, but it probably isn't enough to hinder you from doing this. Now let's talk about how to get a loan. You will need to have at least two years doing the same type of work, being in the same line of work. So if you're a teacher and you've moved schools, that's okay, but they wanna see that you've been in teaching for at least two years. They wanna see consistent income, but if you've had little gaps here and there, that's okay. But you can't use unemployment as a source of income. And so you can't get a loan if that's your main source of income in the last two years. All lenders look for a debt to income ratio. And obviously they're looking for the lowest amount of debt for the highest amount of income. Traditionally, they're looking for under 45%, but with FHA loans, they can go a little bit higher and they usually go from 46 to about 56%. Sometimes you can get it even a little bit higher than that. So if you're worried about your debt to income, that's okay, we'll talk to a lender and we'll sort it all out for you. So how do you find a lender that can help you with all this? Well, that's where I come in. Because you're working with me, I have a network of lenders that I work with that deal with all different types of loans, FHA being one of them. So I can help get you connected with the right people and we can start you on your real estate journey. My previous career was in private education. It was really something where you just had to have a passion for it because let me tell you, you weren't doing it for the money. So I wanna help people who are in careers that they love, that just aren't paying the six figure salaries to be able to live their dream of being able to be a homeowner. So if that's you, I would love to help you out. Give me a call, reach out. I would love to get started working with you. So that's it for today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when more videos come out just like this. And I will see you in the next video.